Hey guys, it's Dave. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry, it's been too long since my last Rocket Lab video. Uh, this summer is crazy busy for me and it's, uh, yeah, only going to get crazier. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to keep making videos as much as I can, but there's going to be a lot going on. So anyway, I just want to thank Randall Wald for joining the channel members before we get into anything else. So thank you, Randall. Much appreciated. I remember seeing your name as one of the commenters from for a very long time. I'm so glad you're still enjoying the videos. Okay, I think by now a lot of you are probably already aware of the news that Rocket Lab just landed their biggest electron contract ever. Uh, if you're not, we're going to go over it and just talk about my take on it, how big a deal of this is, what it means for electron going forward, all that good stuff. If you're new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's very much appreciated to every new subscriber. If you're not new here, well, those likes and comments always help out with the algorithm as well. Okay, with that out of the way, let's dive in to Rocket Lab's biggest electron contract ever. So here we are with the official announcement from Rocket Lab's Investor Relations website. If you didn't see it, basically going over that today they announced they have signed the largest electron launch agreement in company history, 10 launch deal with Japanese observation company Cinespective. Uh, if you're not too familiar with Cinespective, Rocket Lab has launched for them previously, so there is an ongoing relationship there. The agreement was announced in Tokyo at an event attended by Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck, as well as Cinespective founder and CEO Dr. Mo Motayuki, probably just butchered his name, sorry about that, uh, as well as New Zealand Prime Minister Christopher Luxon. I found that pretty interesting. Apparently he was traveling to Japan on a trade deal to deepen business ties between the country. So I guess he wants to jump in and get the good press. I'm not too sure how involved he was in this deal though, really. Rocket Lab has been launching for Cinespective since 2020. As I said, when the company deployed the first satellite in Cinespective's SAR constellation, that synth synthetic aperture radar, uh, designed to deliver imagery of Earth's surface, you know, blah, 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 it's Earth observation in the SAR wavelength. Um, since that first mission, Rocket Lab has been the sole provider for Cinespective's constellation to date, successfully deploying four satellites across four launches. In addition to those 10 new launches today, they also still have two launches remaining already booked and scheduled for this year. So a lot of launches from Cinespective, pretty much Rocket Lab's biggest customer at this point, a very important customer now. Uh, great to see. And the other thing is, I believe this constellation is planned to be larger than the numbers we've seen so far. So six plus 10, 16. I think they're looking at more like 30 satellites total. So I wonder if there could be more potential launches down the line or if they would go the rideshare route. But uh, let's look a little bit more at the details around this deal and then we'll talk about some of the implications and speculate on these things. These launches in the new deal will take place across 2025 to 2027, so next two to three years. Another, another article about the same deal just highlighted here, Rocket Lab says its kickstage deployer also performs a mid-mission maneuver to shield the satellite from sun, reducing radiation exposure ahead of payload deployment. I highlighted this because generally uh, launches using that kick stage are higher revenue. It costs a little bit more to include the kick stage and that additional performance. So could be a good sign for the you know actual revenue numbers of this launch contract, which were not disclosed, unfortunately. Just another article here, yeah, saying as I as I said previously, the companies did not disclose the financial terms of the agreement. Unfortunate, but I think what you can probably assume from this 10 launches, Electron is now around $8 million per launch, but they do tend to offer bulk buy discounts when getting larger contracts. So this being quite a large contract, I think it's fair to assume that Rocket Lab did offer a bulk discount. On the other hand, we do have the kick stage being included, which could pump up the cost per launch a little bit, maybe balancing out. So maybe you think maybe 7.5 million per launch, I guess it could be higher, closer to eight, but maybe even low, as low as seven. Um, probably talking about $75 million worth of revenue over the next couple years. 
So when you're talking about Rocket Lab's overall revenue numbers, looking at like 400 million plus per year, 75 million, I mean, not earth shattering, but very big and very important to the launch side in terms of having that cadence. And obviously we know the cadence is the biggest factor in the profitability of launch. So really what we want to see from this is improving the profitability numbers on the launch side of the business. As I did mention previously, this is Cinespective's website and they do say that they are aiming to build a constellation of 30 satellites by the latter half of the decade. Currently we're sitting in 2024, so we're getting towards the latter half of the decade very soon. With this deal with Rocket Lab, they're looking at launching total maybe 16 satellites. So if we're talking 30, that's kind of double what they've already launched could be a good sign for more deals for Rocket Lab to come because Cinespective to this point has only ever launched with Rocket Lab. Now I suppose it is possible they change their strategy and go towards a ride share for the remaining ones, but maybe not. Maybe they continue doing what they're doing and they get even more deals with Electron in the future. Just taking a quick look at the stock reaction, if you were a Rocket Lab shareholder yesterday, I'm sure you were quite pleased. Obviously had that big jump after the news was announced and it's continued to rise. Stock pushing $5 per share, which is amazing. Uh, very excited to see it. So obviously great for my shares. I'm in the green. I have a few option trades outstanding. I told you guys about previously. Those are both now in the green, I believe, and looking better than ever with this rise. Uh, talk more about that in future videos, but yeah, just excited for the news. Now that we've talked about the details of the deal, let's talk a little bit about implications, what we think this might mean, and how important it is. So first of all, uh, great to see this deal for a few reasons. As you may know, SpaceX recently announced their bandwagon rideshare missions, which are at a, about a 45 degree inclination, as well as currently operating their transporter rideshare missions at a 90 degree inclination from what I understand. So um, SpaceX expanding their rideshare dramatically, offering cheap prices, and a lot of people were worried that this was going to negatively impact Rocket Lab's demand, something that this contract at least seems to show uh, may not happen, or at least it's not going to be that dramatic because Cinespective here, from what I understand, I think they're operating at a 90 degree inclination and they did decide to go ahead with Rocket Lab. Uh, Rocket Lab offering some of those advanced capabilities like the extra shielding, from the sun with the kick stage, putting it in the precise location and all the rest. So really good sign for Electron, uh, very exciting. We had had a little bit of a quieter last quarter in terms of new contracts. S maybe some concerns were rising there and I think this puts that to bed. Uh, makes the next couple years look a lot brighter because I was kind of doing the math recently in terms of Electron backlog saying if they really do get say 18 to 20 launches this year What's our backlog looking like for the next few years? Are we really going to be able to maintain that cadence and this biggest contract ever? Uh, really helps out with that obviously great to see the stock react as it did Interesting thing is the increase in market cap from the stock is actually much more than the value of this contract. So the value, obviously, we said probably around $75 million, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. And the market cap increase far exceeding that. So you can say, did the market overreact? Is it just uh, reading into this more as a sign of things to come? Maybe new contracts coming down the line, a, a bigger sign for the health of the business. Uh, let me know whether you thought this was an overreaction in the comments below. But yeah, I think it's a great sign for the future of Electron. Now, unrelated to this deal, we also know that haste is really ramping up and I think it's going to continue to ramp up over the next couple years. So looking at the future of Electron, we have haste continuing to ramp adding more launches with higher revenue numbers on that side. This contract, kind of a big anchor customer for Electron from New Zealand on the other side of the world. Hopefully this will set a good foundation for the next couple of years for Rocket Lab's launch business, at least when it comes to Electron, of course, Neutron coming online soon, which will be very exciting in its own right. So I guess that's all I have for you today. Very exciting to see this new launch deal signed. 
even more exciting to see Rocket Lab stock move so heavily. Let me know how many gains you have, if you've been making any trades, how you're feeling about this launch contract, as well as Electron as a whole. And anything else you want to talk about, I'll check it out in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And I hope you have a great day as well as a great rest of the week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.